Dr. Oz, we have another question here from a viewer. This comes from Gary Barron in Rockland. Check it out. Hello, Dr. Oz. My name is Gary Barron. I uh, work over at SST over in Rockland. A quick question for you as far as sports nutrition. What do you think would be the best nutritional supplement to have or nutritional food to have pre and post workout? So when you work out in the very beginning, what you want to do is make sure you have complex carbohydrates because it gives you that energy to sustain your uh, endeavor. So I, I love whole grain fiber foods. You can pick you know, oatmeal, which is what I personally use a lot. My, my little morning recipe for oatmeal, by the way, is uh, still cut oatmeal, which got some of it here. Right. What makes it still cut? You always see that. Yeah, still cut means it didn't process it at all. They, you know, okay. In order to allow the oatmeal to be made instant, they have to actually crack the kernel a little bit. So still cut means they literally cut it with steel and they didn't process it so at all. So there's more whole grains in this, maybe yeah, more fiber. Right. And the, the kernel of the grain hasn't been broken at all. So the, 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 the wheat germ on the inside, which is where the B vitamins are, hasn't been dis dis dissipated at all. Okay. The B vitamins are therefore there. But instead of using butter, use flaxseed oil. Here's why. When you work out, your joints get sore. And sometimes, uh, you, if you're playing an athletic event, you to be quick in your, on your feet and think about things and 60% of your brain is fat. You're mostly fat heads. And so you want to have... <laughs> Some fatter than others. Not an insult. That's a <laughs> so, good thing. So you want to have a lot of those omega-3 fats. So I use flaxseed oil instead of butter and then I use walnuts to give it a little bit of a grit but walnuts also have a little bit of omega-3 mm -hmm. fats in them. So that becomes my morning concoction. You know what? You eat that, yeah, you're not going to be hungry for most of the day because right. it slows down the, the intestinal flow of food. And so for that reason, you have satiety throughout the morning. And do you eat fruit with your oatmeal too, like fresh blueberries, yeah, but this is a Big mistake folks make. This is what I always get hurt by the most. When folks think they're doing the right thing, but they're not. If you're having one of those pre-processed yogurt meals when, where you have the syrupy fruit at the bottom, that's just sugar. Yeah. And people are adding high fructose corn syrup and synthetic, and synthetic stuff to that. Forget about that. Have real food. Have food that comes out of the ground looking the way uh, that, that you eat it. So, see, I, I take classically, I, I use the, the Greek yogurt because it's strained. So it's thicker and it's got sort of a creamy consistency. Yeah. You see that? So this actually binds to the blueberries. So if you put the blueberries in here, which are a wonderful source of antioxidants, you can actually eat this pretty comfortably. Because yeah. you get a couple of blueberries, there's no sugar in this, uh, except for that's naturally found in the, in the blueberry, which comes with fiber. Any fruit or vegetable that has these deep, rich colors, these colors evolved because the sun was attacking these. So to protect themselves, they develop deep flavonoids and phenols and other chemicals to protect themselves. When you eat them, the plant kingdom is giving it to you. That's why red wine is so good for us, not at breakfast. But red wine is wonderful because the skin of the grape is, re is reacting to the stress of being in an arid environment. It's signaling to us that we should live longer because the grape thinks we're going to be facing a famine. Oh, interesting. You know, my, my friend is a nutritionist, and her rule of thumb is if you look at the back of, of a product and then you look away, and you can't spell what you just read, yes. don't eat it. I love that. Even yeah. better, if it doesn't have a food label, it's good for you. Nice. <laughs> you can grow it in your backyard, go for it. We've got green stuff down here because you come up with this green drink and we don't have to make it all right now, but tell us what's inside this green drink and why it's a good way to start your breakfast. I have four children. Oh, uh, and congratulations. It is, uh, thank you. And uh, for all parents out there, I know how difficult it is to get your kids to, to eat what's good for them. So we know we have to have at least five, and ideally more like nine, fistfuls of leafy green vegetables and fruits every day. So we make a morning green drink at our house. Uh, we give, put a little parsley in there, and I'll just throw it in here just symbolically. But the parsley is valuable because parsley is a diuretic. Mm -hmm. So parsley will make you go to the bathroom a little bit, which is nice because you're going to want to after you drink this. <laughs> and then, then we take a cucumber, and you okay. can cut about half this amount in there. And you take the cucumber, and you don't have to you know, skin it. You can just have it with the skin. You want to know the difference. A little celery. Uh, gets a little bite to it. And then an and apple. And kids are really going to drink this. Kids, it, it comes out green and deep, and they actually like it because it's like a Slurpee. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it is. That's how I'd sell it. Exactly right. <laughs> it's, all it's, all mar it's all in marketing for the Always. moms out there. It's all marketing. Yeah. Give it I make, a crazy straw, you'll I, be great. I make a purple one of these, and the kids <laughs> think it's a Slurpee for sure. Um, throw an apple in there, and then a half a lime, half a lemon. The, the, the meat of it, of course, is a spinach or whatever kind of leafy green you need. And then I, I use ginger because ginger is an anti-inflammatory, and so you have to actually take this, and you want to just chop this a tiny bit. And that becomes the magic huh. uh, that we actually deliver. And the kids get it as they walk out of the house. Yeah. It takes you a minute to make this. And it's they not, drink it. And it's not expensive. And this is the most important mm -hmm. thing. I think it's really hard to eat a fast food breakfast that's good for you. Right. It is. And so it's the one meal. I think you're okay with fast food if you're selective in what you're doing and assertive in getting what you desire for lunch and dinner. But for breakfast, give the kids what they have to have. These are all the options you have to process. Right. Keeping with the kid thing here, Rhonda has a question. My 18-year-old is weightlifting and started taking protein pills and protein drinks like muscle milk. 
how safe are these pills and drinks, and do they really work? Uh, protein meals are actually beneficial for many reasons. I don't like the synthetic processed foods as much. So if you make a, a low calorie food, you're putting synthetic sugars in it. If you make one of these protein bars, a lot of times you're putting a lot of extra junk to bind it together. So you know, depending on what's in the label, you might be okay with it. But you're right. Mm -hmm. If you can't pronounce those words, you got to be careful. And usually you cannot pronounce those words. Plus, you're paying a lot of money for someone to package something and, and, and sell it to you in, in a bolded way that you can get naturally, much more effortlessly, and you know what you're getting. All right. All right. Get your protein from nature, yeah, from the earth. Plus, I tell you, I travel the whole country. I'm in Sacramento. I'm, I'm buying food in New York from Sacramento. Yeah. You live where Thanks the food for that, comes by from. The way. It's true. <laughs> so why not take advantage of it? Well, the Central Valley is rich. Thank you so much, Dr. Oz. We're going to be back with more answers to your questions coming up right after this.